सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम जस्ट गोन टॉक अबाउट दी पैडिंग सेक्शन एंड इन पेंटिंग सेक्शन एंड येस आई विल ऑल्सो गोइंग टू शो यू वर्क फ्लो एन हाउ आई एम कन्वर्टिंग दिस इमेज इन टू समथिंग लाइक दिस एज यू कैन सी दिस वॉज द इमेज दैट आई वॉज वर्किंग एंड येस आई वॉज एडिंग सम ऑफ द डिटेल्स ऑन टू दिस इमेज यूजिंग इन पेंट सेक्शन सो आई विल शो यू द वर्क फ्लो एज वेल बट येस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ पैडिंग पिक्सल्स आर वर्किंग ऑन इन पेंटिंग सेक्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द पैडिंग सेक्शन एंड देन वर्क फ्लो एज वेल So guys in order to begin with the padding pixel first of all let's go to text to image and we will try to load this image into in paint section okay so let's send it to in paint section as you can see the image is loaded over here and yes the prompt as well and now let me show you the basic settings on in paint section the mask blur will be already on force and yes in mask mode it will be already on in paint mask mode and mask content will be on original section and in paint area will be on whole area okay so that's the setting that is the basic setting and on padding pixel it will be on the 32 value i will explain this but yes this is the basic setting that is already on the in paint section and now what i will do i will try to mask this face first of all let's go mask the face and what i will do i will try to generate on only mask padding pixel 32 value and we will keep on whole area we are not going with the only mask first of all and now let's see what result do we get and i will try to explain how it is working so now guys as you can see it has started to generate and yes it is considering whole of the image over here the reason to this is because we have selected whole area over here impend area on to whole picture so let's wait for the result first of all and let's see what result do we got and as you can see over here these are the result that i got still not that great result over here as you can see this the face not that great it already worked on with the face but not that great result over here you can definitely see this is the second result and this is the third result not that great result as well right so yes this is how it is working on whole picture area and now what we will do we will go with the only mask option and yes we are only going with the 32 so let's see what different does it make and let's generate and let's see what result do we get now so now guys as you can see after starting to generate yes it is starting to consider the area close to the mask so we have gone with the only mask area and 32 padding pixel so now it is considering a short area it is working on this small area in order to fix that image the mask area so that's how it is working so you can definitely see that it is considering something like this image and let's see first of all what result do we get now and yes as you can see these are the result that i got pretty great result compared to earlier result like these are the three result that i got and let's see all of the result this is the first result amazing face as well over here and this is the second result amazing face over here as well yeah all of the result are better compared to the like earlier result so that's how padding pixel is working so in this way it's better to get some more details on to the image on to the mask section and what if i go with the lower padding pixel let's go with the lower padding pixel now let's go with the zero and let's see what different does it make let's jump right now and let's see what result do we get so now guys as you can see with the zero it's already almost close to the mask area you can definitely see that this is where it is masking this on the next section you can definitely see it's only considering the mask area so that's how you can go and work around with the padding pixel the more low you will go the more compact area it will cover and the more details it will add to your image so that's how padding pixel is working and now let's see what result do we got so these are the three result that i got definitely amazing result over here as well with zero padding pixel yes definitely amazing result and let's see this is the first result that i got yes pretty amazing result over here as well right and the second result yeah amazing result over here as well and the third result the result are pretty amazing because it has only worked with the area around the mask only so that's how you can go and generate some amazing details to the image with the padding pixels okay so that's how padding pixels are working and i won't recommend to go with like zero padding pixel the reason to this is because if you go with the zero padding pixel it will like Like totally focus towards your mask area okay so that's why i won't go with like uh, zero padding pixel if you go with like 12 8 12 16 it will be great the reason to this is i will explain you now in short so let's generate with the 16 padding pixel and let's see what result do we get so now as you can see it's going with the 16 padding pixel right it's working on some of the area around the mask as well so what happens is that it will try to run the background as well the area around the mask as well and based on that area it will try to generate the things on the mask portion so that's how padding pixel is working so that's why i will recommend it to go with like 16 12 if you are working depend on what you are working on so with 
with the 16 i can say that it will try to read the area around the mask as well and yes guys this is the short explanation that i learned about the padding pixels and i hope so guys you understand how padding pixel is working so yes guys that's the thing that i wanted you to know about padding pixel and now let's get started with the workflow as well so let's get started so guys now let's get started with the inpainting process so the first thing that i'm gonna do is that i will send it to extra step in the extra step i will upscale it with the 4x upscaler ultra sharp upscaler and yes i will go with the 2x multiplier okay so i will just upscale it and yeah and just wait for the result over here so now this image is now upscaled with the 2x multiplier and 4x ultra sharp so what i will do is that i will just send this image to inpaint section so let's go and let's send it to inpaint section and yes we are already on the in pen section as you can see over here so now what i'm gonna do is that i will just come on to over here and will reset the resolution 768 by 512 was my original resolution so that will do and the next thing that we will do is that we will copy the original prompt from the text to image section and i will keep on working with this prompt only so now the first thing what we will do is that we will try to fix his face as well and let's mask face first of all so now that you can see the face is already masked over here now what i will do is that come on to bottom of the section we will go with the original we will go with only mask because we are only working on the mask portion so we will go with only mask and the next thing that we will go with like 16 padding pixels so that's the only thing that we are going and we will go with like 30 to 40 steps all our a sampling method and let's reduce this denoising strength to 0.5 or 0.45 so we will go with 0.5 and let's generate and let's see what result do we get so now that you can see it's working on the face over here right now okay so as you can see this is the first result that we got and yes uh, the face is pretty much amazing over here you can see definitely the details are pretty amazing and now what i will do is that first of all i will reset the mask remember always to reset the mask and then send it to image to image section you need to load this image to uh, impaint section and yes this image is already loaded over here and now we will start working on adding some of the details over here let's mask this area we will try to add beast over here so let's scale it and let's try to mask this area we will try to add beast over here so now as you can see our mask is ready and what i will do is that i will go with the latent noise option and yes we will go with a uh, much larger like 32 32 padding pixel only mask area i will go with like 0.7 we will go with 0.7 denoising strength and yes this time we will go with like latent noise because i want to fill a beast over here something like animal beast or something like that so that's the thing that we are going and yes we will change the prompt as well so now that as you can see guys my prompt is ready dark animal beast giant evil dark beast and yes that's the only thing that we are doing and yes rest of the prompt is similar as i said i will keep the prompt as it is i will only mess with the start of the prompt and one more thing that we will do we will generate some of the images just like we will go with three to four images and we will select a perfect image okay so first thing let's go with the four batch count and let's generate now and let's see what results do we get now so yes guys we are back with the result and you can see these are the four results that we got yes compared to like first result yeah this was almost we got amazing result with the lion face but not that great rest of the images are great just like this image i think so this image is a perfect the second one so what i will go i will go with this image this is a perfect image and i will go with let's drag it over here and first of all always remember to reset the mask and the next thing that and the important thing that i'm gonna do is that first of all i will mask this beast over here so let's mask this beast first of all and i will tell you why to mask this beast so now that as you can see i have already masked this image the reason to this is we will try to fix this beast as well and now let's go with the original because we want to fix this image right we will go with the original option 16 padding pixel only mask and yes we will also reduce the denoising strength as well let's go with 0.5 or something like that because yes 0.5 will definitely work with it and now let's generate and let's see what result do we get so now guys as you can see yes definitely amazing result over here the face is literally amazing just like a beast and yes one thing is missing over here and that's this thing so yes the arm is meeting but yeah don't worry about that we will fix it later i will show you how to fix it so don't worry about that and now what i will do is that first of all reset all of the mask and now we will load 
upload this image over here so that's the only thing that we are gonna do and now we will try to add some details on this as well just like some of the rocks here here and here something like that so we will try to first of all mask this so now guys as you can definitely see that i am ready with the mask over here these are some of the portion that i have already masked this is the prompt that i am using stone reuse or something like that stones type we will only go with the original because we already have something on the background over here so we will go with the original and what i will do is that i will go with the six or five mass blur and yeah we will increase this as well let's go with 30 sync padding pixels and what i will do i will increase the denoising strength let's go with 0.7 and let's generate and let's see what result do we get now so guys as you can see these are the result that i got yes definitely there are some noise added over here just like stones over here there is some noise added over here here as well and here as well and yes uh, these are the image that i got and now what i will do i will just load this image and in this let's reduce the denoising strength once again let's go with 0.5 and yes we already have that mask so we haven't reset the mask okay so there there is already mask over here and now what i will do i will try to fix this image with the original option once again and yes we will go with 0.45 denoising strength and let's generate now okay so now as you can see guys over here this is the result that i got and as you can see yeah we got amazing result over here some distortions over here and over here as well but it's okay we can fix it later as well so right now we will keep on this image and we will try to generate some of the details on the behind as well let's drag this image over here and first of all let's reset the mask over here so you can see this was the mask already over here we will try to add some of the details on the background as well so let's go with masking first of all and let's see what we can add over here so now guys as you can see this is the mask portion that we are working now and we will try to add some details over here and yes as you can see definitely look closely over here i have also considered the arm portion as well you can definitely see this was the arm right so that we have also considered that and let's try to add some more detail and this is the prompt that we are using ancient rune dark runes and something like that so that's the prompt that we are using and what i will go is that we will go with like 0.2 mass blur let's go with the original and let's go with 0.6 or 0.65 denoising strength and we will try to generate some more result just like three to four result we will go with three batch count and let's generate now and let's see what result do we get okay guys as you can see these are the three result that i got yes definitely we went on with the ancient runes style i think so the second and the third result are definitely amazing results over here see this is the second image that we got definitely amazing result over here so i think so we will go with this image and let's go with the third image as well this was also a great image but yes i just love the third image i think so this is an amazing result so we will consider this first of all let's reset the mask and drag this image over here so we are working on with this image and we will try to add some more details onto the background as well so yes this is working right now amazing result over here right so let's mask all all of the background now and let's see what result do we get we will try to add some more details onto the background as well so guys as you can see i am ready with my mask a rough mask on the background and what i will do i will try to add some details on the background just like this as you can see dark forest something like that dark forest runes or something dark forest type so we will try to add some details and what i will do is that i will go with the original option we will go with the 60 or some more uh, padding pixel because yes the mask is very large it's almost the whole of the image and only mask and yes we will go with like 0.5 first of all so we are adding some of the details right first we will generate one result and let's see if it's getting result or not if it's getting some uh something like a bad image then we will try to fix it as well so let's generate and let's see what result do we get so yes guys as you can see over here these are the result that i got and yes there are some of the deformation as well just like on the hand you can definitely see that on the beast as well you can see that but yes it's nothing to worry about you can always fix this as well so yeah i can say that this is the amazing result that i got you can go around with different different things as well as i was already trying this image with different different things and yes i as i said that if you want to fix or any of the image then just mask it just like i will show you once again so now guys as you can see i am ready with the mask on the beast and yes i will also change the prompt according to the beast so you can see dark animal beast yes giant evil beast something like that and we yeah, once again we are trying to fix it right so we will go with the original option over here and yes only mask and yes we will also try to go with like let's reduce the denoising strength to 0.4 because we are only fixing the beast so we will go with 0.4 or 0.45 whatever you like you can go and we will try to generate some more results so we can select like the best result we will go with the three batch count over here and one thing one more thing 
we will go with like less padding pixel just like 12 okay so it will only focus on this masking area and now let's generate and let's see what result do we get so now you can see over here it's only focusing on the beast over here because we have already worked on with like uh less padding pixel you can definitely see 12 padding pixel and it's only focusing on the beast over here so that's how padding pixel also works and it's very great in order to add some details to your image you can definitely see that these are the result that i got some amazing result over here i think so all of the results are really great over here the second result i think so the second result is really great over here you can definitely see that so what we will do we will try to consider the second result and yes that's the result we are considering and reset so that's how you can go and fix your images as well if you want you can go and fix the image as well so that's what i'm working on and i'm trying to improve my impainting skill and yes so that's what i wanted to talk about in this video and yes that's it for today guys i think so i hope so guys you like this video and yes i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow and that's it for today i will be back guys thank you for watching and yes bye guys love you all guys bye guys